this is it. So it's zero one. But the good thing about it is you don't need any crypto at all. Not even a little bit of crypto in your wallet. So you can set up a, a MetaMask wallet without any crypto in at all and still mint and still collect. You, you know, you're basically just on a front page and there's people just posting stuff, collecting as, as stuff's coming in, basically. A piece of work pops up. It's, you know, for a certain amount of additions. See that? Well, that one's just gone up and it's all collected already. So people are really quick, right? Right. But the thing is, everything that's everything that's uh, exchanged on on here is for free. And then basically, uh, th there's like a um, what you call it royalty on it. So basically, so so if it gets resold on that exchange, then obviously that's where you can get start to get money back in. But really, the idea with this platform is to take all that financial, so a bit like we were talking about, really, that sort of removing all that financial barrier. But what what I found quite nice about it is that it's it's um, it's like um, a discovery site, really. So I, I find myself, I, I, I'm pretty much never on Twitter now. I used to be on it all the time looking through posts. But now I, I just scroll through this, and then I, if I see an artist that looks quite interesting, I just uh, like this guy, or whoever it is, I just click on them to see what their, you know, see what their profile is, see what their work's like. It's like you know, a really nice sort of um, art discovery tool, I think. Yep, yep. So it's quite. I mean, in terms of how it works, um, and this is what I love about it. I think well, the thing I learned over the summer is that this whole wallet thing is a nightmare. It's yeah, it's definitely time to embrace the sort of what web 2.5 sort of scenario or or at least um you know use that as a way just to get people onboarded and then you can start to look into the wallets and all that later on because I found that uh, like a site like this gives you gives you those options, right? So that's your web 2 email option. Now your web two, uh, and or you could use your MetaMask option. So a set account up now with the email, right? It's, it's this particle uh, authentication. There's no passwords. I quite like that. So basically, as long as your email account is secure, because you know at the end of the day you are reliant on that email account. That's the web two way. Um, so basically, what you're doing is send say send code, and it sends the code. And then sign your message. That's it. You're in, and um, you know it's as simple as that, basically. And then uh, you, like I say, you, you get that option to create um, create a piece of work, and then you you've got 24 hours until you can create another piece of work. But uh, so once you've created the once you've created and shared a piece, you get 10 passes. At the moment, I've got zero passes here. Basically, the crate the crate's very simple. Uh, oh, you've got to set up a profile first. Let's do that. So this site's been built on the on the idea of trying to onboard, you know, easily onboard people basically into this into Web three without the all those uh, sort of challenges. Basically, I think it's just an interesting experiment at the moment, and it seems to have. Quite um quite a, a lot of really good artists posting stuff. Mm -hmm. I like I like the layout. I like that it's just one front page. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not it's not it's not a marketplace. It's not it's not it's obviously good because it hasn't got all those things. Yeah, it doesn't need to be act like it doesn't need to behave like a marketplace at all. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's all on IPFS as well. So. You know, even if this plat even if this zero one platform goes down, it's the same thing. It's all they all exist on the IPFS, so it doesn't matter. There you go. So give it a go. You got nothing to lose. Even if you, do, you, you don't even have to put a Twitter account on it. You can be anonymous. Yeah, you know, that they're basically they're calling it a cultural distribution engine. Uh, enables individuals to connect, connect, connect. But I think 
this is you know they're moving beyond the likes and economic barriers so basically yeah the idea that you can spend ages liking lots of content on on a on the site but here you can like it by collecting it obviously um but you also own that content as well so there's like um your, your efforts of um sort of liking a piece of work are rewarded if you like i think it's 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 got legs okay so we're going to get some fresh air i need it i think we're all busy setting up the accounts now it's just oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> you set it up now <laughs>